Paula is a distinguished Toastmaster and she is loving life, something we all strive to do. There is a lot to be thankful for and Paula is going to share just one reason why she is so thankful at this point in her life. The title of, uh, so Paula is um, giving a speech from the humorous humor path uh, to inspire and inform, to ins inform and inspire. It's a five minute, five to seven minute speech. And the title of Paula's speech is, and then there were four. So please welcome Paula Suma as she tells us, and then there were four. Paula. Thank you, Rajiv. You know, four must be the lucky number tonight because that Lollapalooza of a speech that Jordan gave us had the number four in there several times. And four is my topic. And I'll tell you why. Many, many years ago, I was a mom of three kids. Didn't have four, just three. And each one of my children had a son. Melissa had Brandon, Nicole had Evan, and Jason and his wife had Leo. What a happy family, three grandchildren. You can't be any happier, or can you? Yes, four boys. They said they weren't gonna have any more kids. Nope, we're done. Nicole said, one and done, mom. I'm not going through that again. I don't know about any of you women out there, but you know, one is enough for some of us. I had three, I should have stopped at two, but no, I love my youngest, but you know, some of us that don't have any, you don't know how lucky you are sometimes. And those of us have four or more, you're lucky as well. Children are amazing, but what's even more amazing than children are grandchildren. Now I don't call mine Rodentia, although sometimes they can be quite a bit of a buggy situation, if you will. They're amazing. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each one and I'm gonna see if I can share a screen. Let me see if I'm able to do that. Let me see. I'm gonna to try to share my screen, but I don't know if I can. Well, can you see that? I actually put it in a PowerPoint, but this is Evan. This is the second grandson. This take this was taken just the other day. He finished off preschool and he's ready to start kindergarten. Tomorrow, my five-year-old grandson starts kindergarten. He met his teacher. He got to have a free icy with his teacher. How fun is that? That's the middle one. And he is, well, I have to take that back. He's not the middle one anymore. Can you get to where I'm going with this? And then there were four. Well, we just had a new one. Yep. We called him for a long time, Rigatoni. And I'll tell you why. We didn't know when he was going to be born. His brother, Leo, which I'm trying to find a photo of, and I'll get to that shortly. Leo was born about a month early. So we were a little concerned that the second one might be born early as well. And they wanted an Italian name. They went on their honeymoon in Italy and they just loved it there. And the family, both families have an Italian history, relatives in Italy. And so they wanted to carry that on with an Italian name. Leo, I guess Leonardo, you could say is Italian. So they were going through the rounds and rounds of what name should we call this new little one? We knew it was a boy. Oh, they went through Anthony and Pasqual and all kinds of names. I know Pasqual was kind of silly, but no, they went through all kinds of names, all Italian names that you could possibly think of. But for the meantime, we couldn't think of anything. So they were calling him Rigatoni. 
And anytime they talk about him, it would be baby rigatoni. At her baby shower, we even had little bags of fresh pasta rigatoni to hand out to all of those that attended the shower. The sign said, welcome rigatoni. My other daughter made little onesie for each of the family members. The dad was pasta fazul, I think. The little one was spaghetti or something like that. And then the baby was rigatoni. So everyone had an Italian pasta name on their little shirt. Well, finally, rigatoni was born. He came about three weeks early, June 23rd, six pounds, 15 ounces, 21 inches long, long legs, beautiful child. And when we saw him, we were madly in love from the start. But they still didn't have a name. They knew they had to pick a name soon. It hadn't come to them just yet. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to leave it as a surprise. Let's leave it as a surprise and go backwards. I don't think you can go backwards. There's Rigatoni. My newest number four grandson, they ended up naming him Dominic James. Dominic after her father's favorite Italian name and James after his father's middle name. So there he is, my little Rigatoni. I'm gonna show you each one so you'll see, and then there were four. Paula, we are not seeing, we we still have your Leo. That's the only one we're seeing on the screen. You, oh, you mean Rigatoni or Leo? Just seeing Leo with his icy. That's all we're seeing. Oh, okay. Let's go back. Do you see this one? Is it still Leo? Sorry, still Leo. Okay, let me try it again. Sorry about that, everyone. I really had this together. All right, how's about now? I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Okay, I'm still trying. This is why I don't like using PowerPoint. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'll get it like after this is over. I promise you it's going to be too late by then. Let me try it one more time. And I know whoever's evaluating me is going to say, what the heck did you do? share. This is called not being prepared. How about now? <laughs> Still Leo. Still Leo. Okay. Well, I could see I'm out of time, but I did have some beautiful pictures of all of my grandchildren. Let me try one more thing. So you need to see them. They're just the cutest you ever saw. Well, aside from maybe Jordan's little ones. Okay, there goes that. Never mind, I'm out of time. I just want to let you know that having four grandchildren, especially four grandsons, is the most amazing feeling in the world. And maybe one of these days I'll figure out PowerPoint and you could see what they look like. Back to you. Awesome speech, Paula. Awesome. And uh, now I'll hand it over to uh, Vanessa. Thank you, Vanessa. Oh, thank, thank you, Paula. A great, a great speech. Sorry. <laughs> um, I think all our grand, all us grandparents think that our grandsons are the best, but it, it's really lovely. I'd like to see the photos one day. But I call on Charlotte. And then Jordan, and then Ellen, and then uh, Melanie, please. Thank you very much. I enjoyed that speech, Paula, but I was a little bit confused. I'm sorry about the PowerPoint not working out. Maybe get a little bit more practice with that. And maybe even a diagram of all the children and the grandchildren and who's connected with each one would make it less confusing. Next. And Jordan? Well, I'm sure you're going to take a look and figure out what do I do on that PowerPoint. 
One of the things you did, Paula, that is the sign of a seasoned speaker is with almost no preparation, you wove into the fabric of your speech something that I had said just a few minutes earlier about the fours. And, and, and that's in humor, that's like a callback. It was so, so flawlessly done. Great job. I look forward to meeting one of them one day. Thank you. Um, Ellen, would you like to um, say something? Sure. Paula, I enjoy listening to this speech. You're always light up when you talk about your children or especially your grandchildren. And little Leo that we did get to see is certainly a Lollapalooza. I would suggest that you don't use the word amazing all the time because after a while it loses its impact. That would be my only suggestion. I think you did a great job and the love on your face is certainly catching. Thank you, Melanie. Thanks, Paula, for that speech. I really always enjoy listening to your speeches. They're given with such enthusiasm. I like the callback and that you added on buggy situation and also where you said I should have stopped at two and at the end where you had the self-deprecating -de humor about the PowerPoint and I had it together. I thought it also um, referenced what Jordan said. Some things that you might think of for adding on, when you said Leonardo and you said four, I just thought Ninja Turtles, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, and or maybe the pasta as the code name, like 007, Leo, 006, or Made in Black. So those are things that I thought of adding humor. But well done, I really enjoyed your speech. Oh, thank you, everybody. Um, back to you, Rajiv.